my friends, Miss Natalie here, and today's book is called Library Books Are Not For Eating. The day Miss Bronte came to school, story time was extra cool. She told great jokes, was never mean, biggest smile you'd ever seen. One small problem couldn't beat it. When she read a book, she'd eat it. Oh no. She'd say, the end. You heard a crunch, then three or four more books by lunch. Miss Bronte, kids would keep repeating, library books are not for eating. Miss Bronte promised with a roar that she'd be eating books no more. But soon as story time was done, oops, there goes another one. Miss McSmarty called her in. Miss Bronte, where do I begin? You're eating books? That isn't right. You need to curb your appetite. I think you know where this is leading. Library books are not for eating. Miss Bronte promised with a roar that she'd be eating books no more. When Miss McSmartly turned her head, she ate up all her books instead. <laughs> At lunchtime when she ate two more, the lunchroom lady stopped the, stomped the floor. Miss Bronte, you must change your diet. Books taste yucky, don't deny it. Instead of books, try something new, like cottage cheese and meatball stew. We've got to rearrange your feeding. Library books are not for eating. Miss Bronte promised with a roar that she'd be eating books no more. She took one bite of cottage cheese. Uh-oh, then ate three books of recipes. Oh no. She took a walk to clear her head. Down to the soccer field she fled. Coach Burley blew his whistle loudly pointing to his players proudly. I've got problems of my own, a soccer field that's overgrown. Can't mow the grass, can't pick the weeds. You're not the only one with needs. Be a winner, no more cheating. Library books are not for eating. Miss Bronte promised with a roar that she'd be eating books no more. But as Coach Burley turned his gaze, she ate his book of soccer plays. Miss Bronte packed her bags that day. I'm sorry, but I cannot stay. It's not that I find books so yummy, but nothing else feels here fills my tummy. If I could find a bulb or seed, a blade of grass, a bush, a weed. Suddenly her plan was clear. She'd make the wild weeds disappear. All she had to do was eat them, let her appetite defeat them. Now Miss Bronte just eats weeds. They fill her dietary needs. The soccer team has gone unbeaten. Not a single book's been eaten. Every morning right on time, Miss Bronte leads the story time. And every afternoon at four, she's on the sidelines keeping score. The soccer field is good as new. Kids run and kick where weeds once grew. The moral of this tale you're reading Library books are not for eating. A happy tale this might have been. But then they hired Miss Fit, Mr. Finn. Uh-oh. All right, my friends. I hope you enjoyed the story. See you next time. Bye.